Explains History. Hello there, my name is Mr. Q. Here to Kid Explains History, we've covered a lot of ground. But today, we're going to talk about something that happened more recently. The election of the 44th president of the United States, Barack Hussein Obama. This was a huge event because it was the first time an African American became president. Something that was hard to imagine for most of the country's history. Think about it. For over 200 years in America, slavery was legal. Even though American kids were always told anyone can grow up to become president. The job was held by a very long succession of white men. In fact, we still haven't had a woman president despite lots of other countries being run by women. Some black men did try to become president, like George Edwin Taylor in 1904. He ran as the candidate for the National Negro Liberty Party. Many states wouldn't even let the party list their candidate on the election ballots. In 1972, Shirley Chisholm was the first female African American to run for president. Now just to back up a bit, you probably already know that there are two major political parties in America, the Republicans and the Democrats. Every four years, they each choose a person to run for president and they hold primaries to decide who that person's gonna be. The person who wins the most delegates or party officials becomes their party's nominee candidate. Shirley Chisholm finished up with 152 delegates, which is pretty good, but ultimately not enough. The next African American who tried to become a major party candidate was someone who worked with Dr. Martin Luther King in the 60s. His name was Jesse Jackson. He ran in the Democratic primaries two times in 1984 when he got 465 delegates. And then in 1988 when he got 1,219. Alan Keyes ran in the Republican primaries quite a few times. Democrats Al Sharpton and Carol Mosley Braun both ran in 2004. But None of these people got to be the nominee because until Barack Obama, no black person even got that far. Born in Honolulu in 1961 to a white woman and a Kenyan immigrant, Obama was a community organizer in Chicago before getting a degree at Harvard Law School. After that, he was a civil rights lawyer who taught constitutional law. His political career began in 1996, when he won a seat in the Illinois State Senate. Most people first heard about him in 2004, when John Kerry was the Democrats' nominee for president. He chose Obama to give a speech at his convention. His speech went over real well. He called for unity between blue America and red America. There is not a liberal America and a conservative America. There is the United States of America. Later on that year, Obama was elected to the U.S. Senate. In 2008, it was time to run for president. Obama made history by becoming the Democratic nominee with a final delegate count of 2,272. The Republican nominee for president was Vietnam War hero John McCain. And Obama ran against him with a message of hope and change. When people said it was impossible for the Democrats to win with Obama, he said, Yes, we can. In the end, the election was not close. Barack Obama was sworn in as president on January 20th, 2009. I remember because I watched it live on TV. Okay, maybe I don't remember, but there's photographic evidence. I don't remember. That, that's me, much shorter. It's Mr. Q. Everyone understood what a big moment this was and crowds scattered all over the country. He was re-elected in 2012, finally leaving the office in 2017. In other words, for a lot of you watching, he's been president for most of our lives. I think it's cool that we have grown up in a time where it's obvious that people of different backgrounds can become president. But it's also important to remember that for a really long time, that was not true. We are releasing this video during Black History Month. And I think that's a great time to celebrate the achievements of a kid from Hawaii. Thank you for watching. I just wanna take this moment to say thank you for helping us grow our channel. A couple of weeks ago, we passed one million views. And that's crazy, because a million isn't a tiny, tiny number. It's massive. Thank you so much. But if you haven't already, join the History Squad by subscribing and visit all of our social media sites. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.